So the idea behind this particular chapter is it's going to give us a model that we can use to examine the outside world. Now, one of the things that you will see me saying throughout the course is that the models are useful ways for you to structure your answer. But they are not essential. If you don't remember what a model is, if you don't remember which one to use, or you can't remember what it contains, it is not a disaster. We're going to have a particular model in this particular chapter, but the idea is simply the outside world is going to make things harder for us, or the outside world is going to make things easier for us. Harder or easier to achieve our objectives. That's the key bit. Now, most of you will have come across something called a SWOT analysis. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And most of you will also know that if there is an opportunity, you should try and exploit it. If there is a threat, you should try and avoid it. But what most students forget is what an opportunity actually means. An opportunity simply means, as we've just said, something which is going to make it easier to meet your objectives. What's a threat going to be? Something that's going to make it harder. It's going to make it more difficult for you to meet your objectives. So usually in the exam, we're going to be talking about companies. So what their objective will be to make profits. What's making things harder? What's making things easier? So in the exam, particularly in question one, often we are told things are changing in the outside world. The strategy we've followed in the past will no longer work because of outside conditions that are now difficult. The models we're going to have to, in this particular section simply allow you to analyse that. So let's have a look then at the kind of questions that the examiner could ask you. So in question one, part A from the June 2008 exam, use an appropriate model, analyse the environment. So the examiner will tell you what's going on. You use a model and you simply say, this is an example of something. And we'll talk about that kind of model in a minute. Off the pilot paper, assess the macroeconomic environment, assess the macro environment rather, by undertaking a pestle analysis. So the examiner tells you which model to use. Part B, use an appropriate model and using some data, provide an environmental analysis. So again, the idea with both of these is talk about what's going on.